So we've run out of bait and uh, we scavenged the beach, found a bunch of different crustaceans and stuff that we can use. Let's see if we can uh, make use of this free bait. What's going on guys? Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to scavenge for your own free bait. Say you're out of bait on the beach. You've run out of your, your salty squid. You've run out of your cut bait. And uh, you don't wanna go, you don't wanna to have to go all into the tackle shop again. There is plenty of bait that you can find on the shoreline, on rocks such as, such as snails, sand fleas, crabs, all sorts of different things that you can use for bait. And today we're gonna to look around here, see what we can find. See if we can catch some fish on it. Yeah. So let's go look on. Let's go look on these rocks here. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Is it alive or dead? It's alive. It's a spider crab. Look what I found, Aaron. Wow. Oh. What about these? Yeah, try them. Oh. Are they alive? They're sticky. Oh. Oh, yeah, they're alive. All right, pick them. Nice. Come on. Ooh. Look, that one's coming out. Look, it's moving around! Nice! I've never seen Fresh that. Bait. Well, I've never seen that either. Do you think these will work? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it'll work. You gotta break them down, that's so. all. Wanna give it a try, Aaron? Yeah. Alright. Now, I've never used this before. But I'm sure something's gonna bite it. Now, here's how I'm gonna do it. I think I'm just gonna crush the shell. There you go. Not too much so it squishes the oh man. Nice, look at that. I think this might work. I'm gonna Wait, do let me see it. Let me see the actual chunk of meat. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna get all those out. And I'm not gonna hit it too hard because I don't want to crush the meat. I'm just gonna crack the shell. Just enough. to get it open. Right here. All right, I'm probably six of them in here now. Let's see what's up. I'm gonna hook it on. using this rig, the Paternoster rig, high-low. And uh, I'm using actually the small hooks that we include in the, in the Senko Skipper Adventure Kit. Uh, this is the surf kit. We've got jetty kit, we've got pier kit, and we've got surf kit. Um, now, to apply the bait. The good thing about these hooks that we include is that they're bait holders. So you see these little barbs in the end? That'll hold the bait a little bit better. It looks soft. It is soft. What's soft but yonder light this windows blow? <laughs> it is the east, and the clams are the west. And Squidward lives down there, too. Got three snails on each. Let's see what we catch. Let's do it. Feel anything? Yeah, bite. Oh, something bit it. Quick. How's it looking, babe? Looking good still. It took one of each of them off, so there's two on this and two on this now instead of three. Really? Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna get them next time. Got that right. Now there's all sorts of different fish that are running in here. It's gonna be a mystery what's what's gonna come up. But I know there's porgy. Oh, I got a bite. 
I know there's porgy, sea robin, bluefish, striped bass. On the snail. It worked. On the snail. Let's see. It's a porgy. Nice. But look at how it took all the bait off. Wow. I'd rather use the squid. <laughs> this, this, it comes off so quick. But this is. But it works for yeah. sure. So if you don't, if you can't, if you don't have time to buy bait, or you don't want to go and spend the money on bait, you can always find the bait. Throwing this back, it's too small. I am actually really happy with this purchase. The Cast King Kodiak 5000. It's a, uh, it's a little more expensive than their standard one, but I think it's totally. I think it's totally worth it. Uh, the handle, the knob right here, really strong. But the part that I really like, oh, nice. The part that I really like is that it has 35 pounds of drag. 35 is a lot. So if I catch a big fish, I, won't, I don't have to be too worried about it. It'll be able to handle it. And it handles these small fish really well because it's not a big oversized reel. Um, it's a really nice reel, Kodiak 5000. Woo. I got my dad the exact same setup. You should go ask him if he likes it or not. Okay. All right, how's that reel working out for you, Mr. Mike? Yeah, it's great. It's pretty lightweight and um, pretty powerful. Yeah? I like it. Good. Uh, yeah, so, and also, it'll bring me a lot of luck. <laughs> yeah, so, anyway. That's coming from a man who, who buys himself $1,200 Stellas. He, he approves of the real that I'm using. I'm happy about that. Yeah, me too. Keep it. Are you sure? You'd be, I, I'm pretty sure you would know I, if I parted, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Oh! Nice one, bud. Nice! Oh, this is a decent one. Woo! Nice. That's dinner right there. Yeah. Really though. And I've heard that these porgies are decent table fare. Does that make sense? The table yeah, fare? Table fare. But we've got a lot in the bucket already. Let them go, let them grow. I've got a new saying. It's called let them go, let them go. Let them go, let them go? Let them go, let them go. <laughs> Should I bring the camera? Oh, look what he got. Use it for bait. Use it for bait? Some kind of uh, clam family. Oh. Look. So we'll take the base, we'll take this out. Let's see, uh, I would like to use this. Let's scoop it out. Right? Ooh. Oh. So we got that. Put on it. Nice. Come on, another? Yeah. So we got a couple more in there. Couple more. The bit the... It's a small one. It's a very small one. Ooh. All right, you want to try and use this? Try and use this for bait? I guess. I don't see what I'm Should I try to use this as bait, guys? I've never tried using a, a spider crab before. Comment I wonder. Below. Comment below if you've had success on a spider crab before. I'm gonna try this out. I'm not quite sure what the heck this is. My dad caught it. Oh, but it's got stuff in it. Oh, there's stuff in it. Look at that. Look at that meat. That's good. That's good. Your dad scooped it out with a shell. Oh, he did? Yeah. 
All right. Well, this works too. Nice. A little disc of bait. Ooh, another one. Let's open this one up. And you don't want to completely obliterate it. You just want to crack the shell so you can get it open. Oh, there's four in each of these. Look at that. Oh. What is this? It reminds me of like abalone. <laughs> What are you laughing at? You know what abalone is? Yeah, I do. Look at that. It does look like abalone. Okay. And then the crab. Let's put that on the hook. It doesn't stay too well on the hook. This is really soft stuff. There we go. And then we'll do the crab on the top layer. Now I've used green crab before, but I've never used a spider crab. Just gotta kill it first and cut its legs off, just like the spider crab. Just like the green crab that I use. All right, so now here's the body, take the legs off, cut that in half again, maybe one more half. There we go. Let's use one of these. See what we catch. See? We've got the crab, and we've got the mystery crustacean. Let's give it a try. That was on which one? That was on the mystery crustacean. Oh, oh your bed's on. So that was on the mystery crustacean? And the crab looks like it's gone. That was on the mystery crustacean and the crab is gone. Yes, that's true. No. Ah, more uh -huh. bait. Take their heads so much. Fun. Feels heavy. What is oh. it? Oh, I think something just. Oh, you got two. You got one and a crab. One and a crab. That's one. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it up. Two. What's a big crab? All right, give it a kiss, Aaron. No. The crab. No. Give the crab a kiss before I let it go. No, you took its leg off. We took its leg off. You took its leg off. Uh oh. Oh, we took its leg off. All right, guys. Here's our conclusion. We can totally scavenge for bait, and it all works pretty darn well. The crab worked, that mystery crustacean worked, the whatever kind snail. of snail, I don't know what that was, all worked very well. And if you think about it, it shouldn't be too surprising because that's, that's the kind of stuff the fish eat here. If it's around here, they'll probably be eating it. Yeah. And if you're interested in this cast king reel, I highly recommend it. This is something that I, I recently picked up probably uh, about a month ago. I love it, it's been doing great. We got a lot of products to help beginner fishermen. Check out our site in the link below. We've got the Senko Skipper Beach Adventure Kit, but we also got a pier kit and a jetty kit and a bunch of different kinds of squid and bait that you can check out. I hope I could help you guys. I hope I could help you guys learn something. Uh, maybe inspire you guys to try it yourself, take the same adventure. See you guys next time.
What soft but yonder light this windows blow? It is the east, and the clams are the west. And Squidward lives down there too.